Alrighty then, welcome back to my Nuzlocke challenge of Pokemon Fire Red Omega. Off screen, I did some training. I got my kitty to level 11. I got everybody to level 11. So, yeah. And he learned Karate Chop, which is pretty freaking sweet. So this level 11 knows an electric and a fighting move, which is baller as hell. And I think I'm ready to move on to the next route. So will I fight Gary and catch a new Pokemon? Yay! <clears throat> Get a potion up here. And heading over. Now, in every other version, Gary's Pokemon are like level 8 and 9, I think. Oh, nothing over here. Okay, like 8 and 9, so I'm hoping... I'll be ready. And if I'm not, well, I guess I just lose the Nuzlocke and I'll have to do it again. Also, we're going to see what Pokemon I can catch here. The Pokemon I can catch is another Skiddy. Well, that sucks. I don't even know if I want one. No, you know what? I don't even want you. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I can catch... A different Pokemon if I want. Which is good, which is good. Cause having two skiddies is very boring. So let's see what else I can actually catch. And it is a centret. Okay. That's it's pretty it's pretty boring, not gonna lie. But it's better than nothing, I suppose. Well, anyway, Lanoon. Oh, no, it doesn't evolve into Lanoon. It evolves into Ferret. I think Ferret can still learn Surf, which might be useful. So there's that. Uh, it stands on its tail so it can see a long way. If it's possible, enemy, it cries loudly. Little bitch. I'm going to call you Sandy, even though you're a boy. That's not... Sandy. After Sandy Cheeks, obviously. Yeah, I don't like you so much. I'm giving you a girl name. Stupid Sentra. Is there anything up here? Anything like hidden? Nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to lead off with my pimp. Because he's going to die to smooch him, and I want to see what else he has. And here's Douche. Hey, Kraken, you're off to the Pokemon League? Forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guard won't let you through without them. Thanks for letting me know what I already knew. So let's let's get this started. Rival Douche would like to battle. He has a Zubat. I don't know where he got that Zubat, but he has one. And Pimp's going to take care of that with a couple pecs. He's going to Astonish, which does like negative three damage. Two more pecs should do the trick. And boom goes the dynamite. Sentra is, I mean, Zubat is dead. He's going to send out Smoosha. I'm going to switch out because if my guy knows Thundershock, his guy probably knows Confusion. So, or, or some ice move. But I don't want to take the risk. Uh, oh, it's part psychic, so best bet is Thundershock. For 60. I'm still not feeling any better. I feel like my nose is actually more stuffed than it was in the first video. I will try not to make noises. So it looks like two more thunder shocks are gonna. Is this gonna finish this guy off? Never mind. <sighs> Sorry for that. It's a bit late. Uh, let's try a karate shop. Let's see how much that does. Oh, that does way more. I guess this thing probably has pretty low defenses, which I probably should have figured. So I'll smack that bitch right in the mouth. Boom. Maybe I should have called him Pimp, because he basically just Pimp smacked that. And I beat him. And apparently I just lucked out by having better Pokemon and training off screen for like 20 minutes. So yeah, the thing with this this hack, 
Ooh, a Mankey. Wish I would have caught him. That would have been cool. But yeah, the thing about this particular ROM is that you have to do a lot of training. So it forces you to not only have good type advantage, but you just have to put a lot of freaking time into this game. So I am thankful for the speed up function. Alright, I'm gonna go into Dunda, I guess, and Thundershock it to death. Or Karate Chop it. Whoopsh. Got him. Alright, I'm gonna. Ah, oh, goddammit. Freaking Rattata. So, when I was little, I always used to thought, think that it was Ratatat. Me and my friends all just called that thing Ratatat. And when I found out it was Rattata, it broke my little heart. You know, it's one of those things when you're a kid, you just call things differently, or incorrectly, I guess. Like the word Zealot. I thought it was Zealot. Like everybody did. You know what? I'm going to train Sandy off screen after this episode. Not right now. But God, this whole training thing blows. Um, yeah, I'm just going to move on. Uh, probably buy some more Pokeballs. Don't need that money, but... Let's just buy, like, not, like, five of these. Yep. Buy some Antidotes, because I'm going into that fucking forest so all the goddamn Weedles. Buy eight. It's potions. Buy like, four. Yeah. All right. I am ready to conquer. I am not yet ready to conquer the forest. Not yet. Gotta heal my Sentret in case shit gets real. So, up, up, up. Ah. Gotta listen to this freaking old man. Look, the only reason this old man is ever useful is in red and blue when you have to talk to him to begin the glitch. But now he's just annoying. He throws... He misses? Nah, he catches it. Sometimes he misses, right? Yeah, fuck it, I don't remember. What does this guy do? I'm a fishing guru. Yeah, I love fishing. Oh, sweet! Got an old rod. Oh, man, I wish I knew that. I would have fished instead of catching a skitty. Oh, well, the things you learn. <clears throat> In Pewter City, I will fish for my Pokemon. What is this? Ah, trainer, please take this Pokemon. I got a Trico. No, I'm not going to give a nickname to this Trico because I'm going to abandon him. You're getting released. I'm going to release you into the wild. So, wait, wait, move. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, release. So, as I said before in the previous video, um, you can only have one gift Pokemon. You can't even store them. You can only take one. <coughs> and I don't want a Trico. I think I want to save mine for an Eevee because I like Eevee a lot. So this is a new route. I can catch first wild Pokemon here. And let's see what it is. It is a Shroomish. See, I don't even need Trico because I got me a Grass type anyway. Um, let's see what Thundershock does. Hopefully, it doesn't kill it. That that would be the worst. Ah, pfft, not even close. Absorb. Um, yeah, let's just keep Thundershocking it till it's low, and boom, Alva Shroomish. This would be really good for Brock. If I get a crit on this thing. I'll be pretty salty. I'm not going to lie. Alright, cool. It's low. Use tackle. I'm going to throw my balls at it. Uh, yeah. And caught it. Sweet. I got a shroomish. Let's see. Prefers damp places. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I get a nickname? Um, penis. 
Not even close. Mushroom, penis, way too easy. Alright, now I'm going to go back to Pokemon Center. Go heal up. Again, I'm going to do training off screen. Because I don't want to bore you guys with tedious battles in the Viridian Forest. Especially, oh, are you going to the Viridian Forest? Not a maze, be careful. Yeah, I ca no, I didn't catch one. Thank God. I don't like Rattata at all. I'd much rather have uh, Nidoran, right? So, Viridian Forest. Normally, there are only bug things and one Pikachu in here. Or one, a couple Pikachus. But now, I have no idea. Probably still bugs. Maybe still a Pikachu. And we'll see. I'm going to go into this grass because there's a Pokeball and there's a dude. He was throwing Pokeballs to catch Pokemon and he ran out. Well, that's why you weaken Pokemon first. Got a potion. Very nice. And my first Pokemon is... A Wurmple. Okay. I will totally catch this Wurmple. It's level 7, which means I can level it up one level and it'll evolve. And then two more, and then I'll have a beautiful butterfly or a dusty moth. I'm calling. I'm gonna nickname this fucker Dusty, even if he turns into a beautiful fly. I'm still nicknaming him Dusty because it's a sweet name. Yeah. Caught a wormhole. Uh, lives in mid melt has been when attacked. By pointing its venomous spikes. Oh, he does not. Does he learn poison sting? I guess he does. Alright. Dusty it is. Yeah. I caught a Dusty. I'm gonna go... Nah, fuck healing it. I'll do that all after the fact or after my other Pokemon get weak too. So let's see. Pimps level 12, Dundas level 11, Skitty, Penis. Let's train up Dust. Ah, uh, Elekid. This guy wants to battle me. Mr. Bugcatcher over here. Rick. Alright, Rick, I accept your challenge. I'm gonna, beat, I'm gonna beat the crap out of your stupid Weedle. It's a good thing I bought all of those antidotes. Because in a Nuzlocke challenge, you gotta be super... Okay, never mind. Guess I don't have to be worried about anything, because I'm just gonna one-shot everything. Okay. Take this bitch out with a Thundershock. Boom. Alright, well, if all the batteries... Caterpie can't hack it? What about your Weedle? This guy doesn't even care about his Weedle. We got a, we got a great trainer over here. Um, I'm going to do this battle, and I'm going to stop the episode. I don't want these videos to be too long, because otherwise it'll discourage the viewers from watching. The viewer. People aren't going to watch these videos, but that's okay. I do this because I like doing it. Well, I guess Wurmple's just better than Caterpie and Weedle. He can take a hit to the face. Got him with a quick attack, and that'll bring my Dunda to level 12, which is sweet. Now against Silcoon, I'm going to, I'll just leave him in. He's going to harden a bunch, so I like to have just a special attack, so I just don't have to worry about it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if I quick attack or whatever, switch into something else, I have to attack more than twice, and that'd be a pain in the dick. And his final Pokemon is Cascoon. Alright. This guy is just really exciting. Boom. And... Bagosh. Alright. That was Bugcatcher Doug. And that is the end of this episode. I'll... Do some training off screen again.
and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.